For drone shots like this one, you get a better track with a lower average error if you open the advanced options of Camera Tracker and select Detailed Analysis. With the Camera Tracker selected in the Effects Control Panel, you will see targets start to pop up as you drag the Selection Tool pointer around the scene. These targets are automatically generated by just predicting which three points are going to be on the same plane. Some of them may look good, but there's a better way to define a plane. It's a good idea to establish an origin and ground plane every time you use Camera Tracker. If you select points that are a long way apart and still on the same plane, the origin and ground plane will be more accurate. I usually start somewhere in the middle of the shot. I'm going to drag a selection around a small area on the left side of the shot, where the ground is mostly flat. Then I will hold down the Shift key and drag selections around some points that are a lot farther away from the starting point. The goal is to create a very large surface that includes as much of the ground plane as I can easily get. You don't have to see the markers to shift drag a selection around them, just make your best guess. When you have a large surface defined by the highlighted area, you can hover over the target and drag it to the approximate center of the plane you want to follow. When the target is in position, you right-click to bring up the Options menu and select First, Set Origin and Ground Plane. Then you use the same target, right-click again, and select Create Solid and Camera. I always set this first ground plane solid as a guide layer. I usually name the layer Ground Plane and then lock the layer so it can't be moved. The next step is to create a new shape layer and make it 3D. Then Shift plus parent the layer to the ground plane solid. This will snap it to the very same position. You can then use the shape tools to create markers that identify critical parts of the shot so you can check the track. You can then set this layer as a guide layer and lock it so you have a reference for other 3D layers you may want to add to your scene. I'm creating a new tutorial series on tracking workflows. When the camera tracking tutorial is ready, I'll post a link in the forums. Until then, maybe this will help you get a better and more accurate tracking result.